Hey. Why did you shower? Uh, because I got paint all over myself. I went a little too far with this Jackson Pollock thing that I'm working on. Oh, I see. Oh, I was, um, just checking on you to see if you remembered about your little chat with camera. Uh, you know, I haven't forgotten about that. I, um, I just haven't had time. Can you please don't avoid it? You saw that girl, Trina, at Cameron's hearing. She, you know, she went on the trip to Niagara Falls with the kids, and I'm pretty sure they all shared a room. Yeah. And Cameron and I have had that, the sex talk, but I, I do think that, um... He would benefit from hearing advice from his stepfather. Yeah. Uh, you might want to rethink that, because I'm the last person who should be giving Cameron advice. You can. The last thing that Cameron needs is a guy with my history giving him advice or offering myself as some kind of pillar of societal norms. Cameron has seen how you treat me with love and respect, and that is so important. And you are teaching him and those boys to be good, caring, responsible young men, and you should, you should feel really good about that. Wow. Well, if you feel good about it, I guess that's all that matters. You have a way of talking to kids. It's very effective, and I think it's gonna be helpful, this little chat with Cam. Okay. I'll do my best. I'll try not to disappoint you. I'm not. Just be yourself. Mm. Mm. See you later. Okay. Nah, you heard her. Just be yourself. Only better. It was a great day, huh? Oh, yeah. Gail would have been thrilled. And I loved learning that I was an inspiration to you, becoming the wonderful nurse that you are. Speaking of nurses, has Lucy tried to recruit you for performing at the nurses' ball yet? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's the only time of the year that she's happy to see me. You better watch out. She's gonna try to rope you and your whole family oh, into performing. No. no, no, I think my family's had enough of the spotlight for the year. We might just sit this one out. You have your hands full raising sons. It never gets old, and it never gets easy. You did such a good job raising Lucas. Do you have any wisdom you'd like to share? I'd like to hear it. If you're t Is there anything that you wish you had done differently? Ugh, only about a million things. <sighs> Top of the list is my denial when Lucas first came out to me. I blew that big time. And if I had a redo, I would make sure to let Lucas know that I loved him for what he was and not who I wanted him to be. That, my dear, is my biggest regret. Yeah. I just want to handle things the right way with Aiden, too. You think Aiden's gay? He's so young, I don't want to assume anything. And no matter who he is or, or who he becomes, I just, I don't ever want him to doubt that he's surrounded by love. <laughs>